Seabright developed the current densifier in 1990 for one of the largest foam manufacturing companies in the United States when they began having issues with their densifier from uh, a different manufacturer. And their largest issue was downtime and throughput. They couldn't keep up with the product that needed to be densified. And the downtime from service issues was causing great expense. Um, so Seabright began engineering the product, the equipment, with the idea that it would be a long equipment life. And those pieces of equipment are still working today from 1991. So that obviously worked. And with their needs and their demands in mind, that's how our engineering team was able to design such a long-lasting, efficient piece of equipment. The customers' demands and needs ended up designing the machine for us. We also, in recent years, have developed an adjustable shear to control the size of the blocks to make them more ergonomically correct for employees to move, to pick up and stack neatly on pallets so that we can get the maximum payload in each truckload. And we have the companies that currently use the equipment are experiencing 38,000 to just over 40,000 pounds per truckload, which is optimum. At this point in time, the machine that we are using now is doing everything that we need it to. Um, it's very simple, it's very clean and easy to load pallets. All the pallets are very uniform. Um, they are very consistent in weights and um, you know that, that allows us to fill a truck and get very close to 40,000 pounds. So, so far we've been very happy with everything and the way it goes. They did a very nice job. They set it up, um, dialed it all in, made it so that, you know, we, we had exactly what we wanted. They adjusted it to, you know, the size and the, how well it stuck together. Um, everything went really well. It was pretty much uh, one day installation and another day to set up. Uh, pushing the start button. That's it. So we start it up in the morning and we shut it off when the bag is empty or when it's time to go home. When we have every pre-crusher feeding it, we would probably run about six to eight hours a day. The previous equipment that we had would not have, I mean, we would have had to go back to regret. Right around 65 pounds, 14 mm -hmm. inches. It's been very dependable. We have had absolutely no problems. We're really excited about the Dunce Fire and the way it has developed through the years. Uh, each customer's needs have helped to create a piece of equipment that just continues to put out 1,200 pounds per hour on a, on a regular basis and without downtime it has exceeded everyone's expectations and with a five-year frame and ram warranty which is just unheard of in the industry we're very confident this equipment will meet and go beyond any needs that that the customer has so it's been very exciting.